guys and welcome back to it's andrea michelle sis you guys go ahead and subscribe thumbs up and turn on my post notification you guys i am not feeling the best we doing a mukbang i got a big mac fries chicken nuggets this was supposed to be sweet tea i mean it's supposed to be unsweet tea but they gave me sweet tea which tastes like y'all already know i got doordash I had two apple pies, and I'm going to save an apple pie and the chicken nuggets for later. Um, and then I got a bag with, like, three light mayos, three butters, <laughs> um, three Splendas that I was trying to do my own tea, like, make it, you know. Um, but they had already put this, the uh, sugar in there. And then three creams, because I like cream in my sweet tea. Um, you guys, I've been on this walk, this journey with God, and you guys, today I just, my sugar, like, lately has been up, and so, um, I've been been telling me, oh, go to the doctor, um, I just, I don't know if I said this is going to be a mukbang, but yeah, it's going to be a mukbang, I'm going to just pretty much eat, um, not to say go to the doctor, I'm from Dallas. I'm from Texas. Um, I wait. I waited too late to sign up for my job, um, work insurance. Um, and then too, it was really expensive. So only thing I got was my eye and my dental insurance. But then I went back to say I want to get the health insurance, and they it was already closed. So I wound up getting Texas Women Health. Which is for either pregnant women, they get the full benefits of that Medicaid insurance. And then if you're not pregnant, you don't get the full benefits. So last year, my original doctor, which my was my doctor the whole year, which I thank God for, um, said that she was going to help me with my diabetes and she's going to get me the insulin pen and just all this stuff that I need for my diabetes. Well, three weeks for Three weeks now, I've been, my sugar has been, like, skyrocket, like, high, high. Um, and literally, I thank God for my boyfriend because my boyfriend, he has been so amazing through this whole, like, diabetes journey. He asked me, do I take my, check my sugar? Do I need anything in my orange juice and stuff? Better eat those berries. That's, that's how he think. Babe, you better eat those berries. But... I do want to apologize because when um, Wednesday I uploaded, I was supposed to upload Thursday and Friday. I think I'm just going to change my scheduling because when I have these type of days, like, my energy is no energy. Like, I have no energy. If you are type 2, type 1 diabetic, uh, diabetic, you know where I'm going. You know where I'm, where, I'm, where I'm standing. And you know how we feel when our sugar go up, like, up, up. <laughs> So, last week, I almost fell out, like, passed out because my sugar was very high. My boyfriend came in. He was going to go somewhere else, but God just directed him home. Um, and if God didn't direct him home, I, I would have been in a mess, you guys. Um, today, at work, was a mess. <laughs> but I didn't let that negativity get to me at all. Um, I stayed positive. I stayed focused. Um, my sugar went up today again. Like I said, Texas women, it's, it's full benefits for pregnant women. But for me, myself, because I'm not pregnant, I don't get full benefits. I called my doctor's office just to see, like, my old doctor, she went somewhere else. So I get a new doctor, May the 8th. So I don't go to the doctor to May the 8th. I'm struggling here without, like, insulin or anything like that. So that's, that's my ordeal, just to make it. A long story short, I'm struggling without insulin. And um, the lady said when I talked to her that they don't support, they don't, they don't give insulin with Medicaid. And I'm trying to tell her like, <laughs> now what she's saying is basically you are going to have to start all over. <laughs> I'm going to have to start all over. I'm going to get a whole wellness check. 
I'm going to have to get retested for diabetes. Even though I have diabetes. And I retested for that. It's just a mess. But, with all that said, I've been on my whole job, my whole God journey. And I've been following him. And I want to know what my purpose. I want to know what his plan for me. Everything I do now is with God, you guys. It's going to be a short video, but I want to read this passage to you guys. Because this is a 365 daily devotion. A little God time for mothers. I got it at Ross. And this is about telling. So, this passage is in the Bible. Matthew chapter 7, verse 3 and 4. It says, why, why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a long a log in your own how can you think of saying to your friend let me help you get rid of the speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye so basically how can you tell on me you tell all these things when you have all those problems you know what i mean so basically in my journey today is basically telling me, God is telling me, keep your mouth shut. Don't tell on somebody else. Somebody give you a secret, say that secret. Take that secret to the grave with you. That's nobody else's business. So I'm not going to judge you because how can I judge you when I have fought myself? I have failed myself. You know what I'm saying? My life is not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect but the king himself. And that's God. Um, and so how can how can I speak of speak on you when I'm going through things, you know? So, anyways, you guys, I just wanted to share that passage with you guys with my walk on faith, the things that I'm going through. And so that God is here, God is God is gonna bless you and keep continuing blessing me as well. I love you guys. As always, thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all post notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye.